Hello, Byron. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? Um, so so because yesterday I wasn't able to join to the in the meeting because I have problems with the internet. Once mm -hmm. again, because you you know the rain. Yeah, but this I, actually actually I finish in the uh, in the university class, and my uh, my teacher have uh, had some issues with her internet. And in all the class, because of the uh, of the rain. Yes, I think that is the rain, or maybe yes, she she has some problems with her connection. Okay, and but now you are finished with university, or no? Uh, yes, at eight p.m. But she only was uh, gave us information about the next class. And then I think I, I joined to the English class. Okay. <laughs> That's great. And when, you? Do you, when do you finish the semester, Byron? Oh, this is intercyclo. I don't know how do you say intercyclo. <laughs> mm, they don't really have in the U.S. The only thing that they have is they call it summer school. Mm -hmm, maybe summer, summer mm -hmm. college, maybe, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, we start uh, on Monday. You, but it, it, ah, okay. Yes, but only is for one month. It's pretty good, huh? Fast. Yes, faster. Yes, will be will be fast. Yeah, very fast. Okay. But and, I will tr I will try. Yes, I I want to. I want to complete the university. To be honest, this is this is other objective that I have. And tell me what, uh, what class are you taking during the summer classes? Um, I take a uh, Latin, <laughs> Latin and Spanish. Uh, is the name is is really uh, crazy? Let me confirm. What is the name of this class? is let me check oh, i'm sorry is ex is oral and right expression in spanish <laughs> sorry i, I say latin I'm crazy too. <laughs> yes, no. this is this is the this is the the ah, how do you say you materia mean, the subject. I forget the yeah, jet the subject. Sometimes I forget some some words that are really easy, but I have a lot of things in my head right now. <laughs> No problem, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, you know, it's only one month, so it's going to buy yes, it's going to pass very quickly. Yes, and uh, currently I I complete uh, the first evaluation of this of this class today mm -hmm. because it's the third day. Uh, the third day was today, right? In the class, and we have the first evaluation. Today was the first day. Yes. No, no, no. Today was the, the third day, the third, okay. the third one. Okay. Yes. And we have the first evaluation today. Very fast, right? Yes. Science is one month. I think that maybe will be fast. Yeah, probably. All the information. It's going to yes. be a lot. Mm -hmm. But that's good because that means it's better for you. Yes, because I I will go will go will get another a uh, another subject right for my pension. Yeah, and will be fast. And that's that's the idea. The idea is to try to pass all the classes quickly. Yes, this is the this is the objective, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Well, I see we have some other people. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, maybe in 
Some people don't connect because I know that today is raining in some parts of El Salvador. So maybe for some people it's difficult to connect or to listen or different things. So we're going to try. Uh, I will, will be only listening for maybe 20 minutes because I was driving. But when I came to my I, I can participate. Okay, thank you for telling us, Anna. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, <coughs> great. So let's take a look at a couple of things. Um, the first thing we're going to start off with is by looking at some images and describing what do they mean. This is part of our gestures for unit four. Um, if you remember, we're talking about the gestures, signs, emotions, and feelings. Okay. So let's take a look at the image that we have here. Okay, what do you think is the first one? Let's take a look at those pictures. What's the first No one? food. Okay, no food. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Uh, turn the light switch off. Okay, kind of like oh, yes. turn the light switch off, something like that, uh-huh. The next one? No, no, no. no. Or no, no pets. pets. No pets. Good idea. No dog. Mm -hmm. uh, letter D. Mm. It could be like remember to close the door when you leave the room. Oh, very nice. Maybe like remember to close the door. Good, I, good I have another idea. <laughs> For example, when the door says uh, only authorized personnel, for example. Okay, maybe only for authorized <laughs> personnel. Great. What about letter E? This is a window, right? Mm -hmm. Your decision, it looks like a window. Mm, to be honest, yes, maybe do not open the window. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, maybe don't open the window. Mm -hmm. What about not letter F? Bicycles parking. Okay, parking for bicycles. Mm -hmm. Letter G. It could be trash can. Okay, the trash can, very nice. And the last one. Don't, don't play, play soccer. <laughs> okay, no playing soccer, yeah. all right, very nice. Great, let's take a look. So, lock your bikes in the bike rack. You told me it was letter F, good idea. No eating, you said was letter A. No playing ball, letter H, right? Yes. Keep the keep the door closed. Ah, that was keep the door closed. Okay, good idea, letter D. No pets, letter C. Oops, wrong one. Letter C, look at here. Throw all the trash in the wastebasket. That was... This is called the wastebasket. Here is the trash. Another name is garbage and garbage can. Okay. Don't, A, it was exactly a window. Don't open the window. Like maybe for air conditioning. And here, turn off the lights, letter B. Very common, very good ideas. Let's take a look, make sure that we have everything correct. Excellent. Okay. So we have everything the right way for the order. Some of these pictures are not common in El Salvador. Which pictures are do you think is not normal to see in El Salvador? Letter F. Letter F. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen? Okay. Hmm? Letter A. Letter A, maybe. Do you see it's not normal? Okay. I think letter D, too. Letter D. Okay. 
I think letter E. And letter E. All right. Okay. It, it, in fact, letter F depends the place. In letter F is common in San Juan Opico. Did you know that? No. No, why? In San Juan Opico, they have a lot of those signs. Because in San Juan Opico, a lot, but a lot, a lot, a lot of people have bicycles. And they have in the places they have for them to park the bicycles. Teacher, you live in San Juan Opico? No, but I work. <laughs> But I worked in San Juan Opico because in San Juan Opico they have all of the companies like Haynes Brand, Kimberly Clark, um, all of these, and all of the people. They many, not all, but many of the people go to work in the bicycle. Yes, it's true. I live in San Juan Opico and I work from Haynes. Uh -huh. And it's, it's very common. The people have a lot of motorcycle and bicycle. Yeah. Ah. You see? Thank you, Anna. Support my support the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. For me, when I went to San Juan Opico to work the first time, <gasps> what what is this? What happened? And then I learned. It's very normal for that area. Great. Now we're going to go to our next exercise. The next exercise is listening. We're going to listen to three conversations. And then we're going to select if it's true or false for all of these. There are a lot of different things. So number one, we have three is true or false. Number two, we have three true or false. And of course, the same thing for number three, three options. So listen and then answer the nine questions. Page 96, exercise 11. Okay, there's the first one. Let's read number one. Mario, can you please read the three sentences for number one? Okay, teacher, just give me a few seconds. First, the man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. Uh, parking isn't allowed there du during working hours. The fine for parking is $16. Okay, let's listen and see if number one, which is true or which is false. Listening, what's in a sign? Part A, listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. Number one, true or false? True. Okay. Number two, true or false? False. Okay. Number three? True. True. Okay. Let's read number two. I think it's the opposite. Okay, so you think it's false? It's true, false, true, false. false. <laughs> okay, really? Don't worry, we're gonna check. Good. Byron, please read number two, the three sentences. Okay, maybe Byron can't read. I don't remember. Uh, Rudy, can you read number two, please? Yes, of course. The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. The other one, there are other cars in her lane. And the next one, the lane is reserved. I don't know how to pronounce reserved. Correct, reserved. 
reserved for buses and taxis. Okay, let's take a look. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. Okay, let's take a look. Number two. True or I false? Think it's false. False, okay. Here. False. Me, teacher. Sorry, I can, op I can open the microphone in the last one. Sorry. No problem. Go ahead, Byron. Yes, there are other cars in here, Fane. In here, lane, here lane, sorry. True or false? I think it's false. Uh, yes, I think that is false. Okay. Two. And number three. True. Okay, good. Let's read the next ones. Um, in the next one, Suyapa, can you please read number three? Of course. And the other driver are flashing their light. He's driving with his light on. The other drivers are giving him a warning. Okay, let's listen and see. Okay, give me a second, we'll try it. Page 96, exercise 11, listening. What's in a sign around here? Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96, exercise 11, part B. Okay. Number three. True. 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 Okay. Number two. Mm. Nobody. Nobody has. Okay. And the last one, number three. True. True. The the other is false. False. Okay. Okay. Let's listen one more time and check your answers. Listen carefully and see if it's correct or not. Listen again. Which drivers did something wrong? One. Oh, no. Not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? Sixty dollars. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here.
three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Okay. Are there any that you would like to change? The first one. Number one, the first one. False. False. Okay. Anything else? The, the, the other one, the, the, in the, the second uh, question, in the first block, I think it's true. No, no, that, that is false, the number two. Can you scroll up? the that i think it's true okay anything else anybody else okay let's take a look i think everybody agrees let's double check here we have a couple of them Yes, now we corrected some of the mistakes. Here we have false number one, true in this part, and false here. This is not $16, it's $60, six zero, okay, $60. Then in number two, we have false, false, and true, very good. And the last one, we had it all correct. True, false, and true. Okay. It's okay. Any questions? Not by myself. No. It's good. Yes? Everything's okay. All right. Excellent. So let's take a look. This means that with this activity, we finish unit four. Unit four is completed. Now, then we are going to start unit five. Before we begin unit five, let's double check and make sure that it's clear with everybody. Any questions from unit four or anything else that is not that you didn't understand? Hey, I just have a question on the first three questions the third one okay what does it mean define define for parking let's double check let me go back so that everybody can see here you go okay um, is sorry this word right here correct yeah yes the fine is how much money you pay in the ticket when you are talking in the cell phone in el salvador this is the ticket or the fine for 100 dollars. it's like the bill it's like the bill but the bill is for a service the fine is for not following the instructions or for not following the law. It's like a mold. It's like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So if we are ready, now we're going to take a look at unit five. Here, let's take a look. What are we going to learn? Mm -hmm. Eduardo, what are we going to use in, what are we going to learn today? In this class, we will listen to the conversation where unreal conditional sentences with the clauses are used in context. Let's learn a little bit about what this is, unreal conditional. 
What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so first, any words you don't know? Maybe straight is like directly. Correct. No. Straight is okay. like directly. You're right. Okay. Any other words? I think that, that it's the one. Only okay. that one. All right. Let's take a look at the next. Yeah. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. So, in the conversation, what would Phil do if he found $750,000? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Mario. Where is the meaning? What is the meaning of the word such? Let's take a look. I don't remember if it's in this one or in the second part. In the second part, he says such. S-U-C-H. Uh-huh. Such. Such what? That word, I don't know. I always hear that word, but I don't know what is the meaning. Depend the context. What is the next word? I don't remember. I think he, the girl says... Let's say, listen. No problem. We okay. listen again. You've got a point there. Okay. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe. Okay. So, she, she says, such a bad idea. That would not be a bad idea. So such a bad idea is, that is not a very bad idea. Mm, no es una tan mala idea. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so such. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, you have to remember, Mario, depend the context, such has... I think 15 different meanings. So you have to be careful with what you listen to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, man. All right. Any other questions? No. Okay. No, teacher. Great. So tell me, guys. What would you do if you found so much money?
what would you do if you found seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars? In my case, I will get a, a pilot's license. A pilot's license. And okay. maybe a, a, an airplane. <laughs> okay. The two, the license and the airplane. And the airplane. Okay, Rudy. Interesting. Do you know what kind of plane do you want? Maybe um, uh, a private plane, like a... Uh, a private jet or something like that, like a Learjet. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Who else? What else would you do if you had $750,000? Maybe I would. I would travel around the world or I will buy a, a, a pretty house uh, far away to the to the to the town mm -hmm. maybe in a hill for example uh, and also I would buy a ticket for a Champions League final. Maybe I will, I will, I will like to to know my favorite football player, or I will, I would like to know my my favorite country. Okay, okay, good. But not no. I would like to see. I would like to visit. I would like to. Uh huh, but not no, no only for people. I like to mm -hmm. to see you to visit. Okay. Yes, I like to visit my favorite country. I would like to see uh huh my favorite player like that. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. And the other, what else, partners? What else would you do with all that money? One more, one more. I think it depends. Depends the place where I find uh, the money mm -hmm. uh, for example in a park maybe wait for for someone is uh, to who is looking the money and return the money but if i find this money in the street and i don't know who who lost the money maybe i keep this and i will use to pay something that i have to pay or buy uh, some something that i need in the house okay okay good so this is the idea of conditional that we are looking at we are imagining what you do in the situations now before we continue we're going to practice a little bit of grammar how to use it in the following exercises in the chat we have four links. Do you see the four links? Yes, teacher. Yes. Please copy the links or open the links, whatever is easier for you. But copy or open the links before we make the groups, because if not, you're going to lose the links. Teacher, I am at home. You finally. <laughs> yes, okay. finally. Two, two hours driving, but... Finally, I, I am at home. <laughs> okay. That's great. So then we change your name one more time. Now Thank participate. You. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done, teacher. Okay. Everybody has the links? In my yes. case, yes. Yes? Yep. All right. Excellent. So we're going to take, um, let's say 12 minutes, about three per link. The first is only multiple choice, the first two and the others, you have to think about it. And it's, don't worry if you don't finish, but the important is to help us understand what is the correct grammar.
Harrison, are you okay? Harrison? Harrison? Okay. Teacher, can you uh, able the screen share function, please? You're mute. Can you, I really, I don't know what happened to your partner. Oh, he left. He left. Okay. Oops. Maybe, like I say, some places have problems for the internet. Rudy, I'm going to put you into another group. And, okay. Perfect. Okay. No problem. It should check. You should be able to share the screen now, but I, I will okay. put you in another group. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, but Digo always. Okay. Okay, so let's try with the first link, the second condition. I have a, ah, a bella, yeah. the, the option to share the screen. Okay. Yes, uh, you can see the screen right now. Thank you. It's yes, yes. Yes, if you want, we can start with this uh, link, the last one. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, the first question is if you younger, let me check the option. Uh, um, where? If you were, yes. Where? Because it's in, in past, right? Uh, yes. You chemistry, if you. Did you. Studied. Studied. You, studied, uh -huh. you yes. will study chemistry. No, I studied. Okay. If it's. If it, Snow, wool snow, wool snow, or oh, snow it. Snow. Because wool is size uviera, right? Yes. What is snow? Snow is is nieve. Ah yes. Yes. Mm. It, this is the medium. Uh, if it snowed. It's now if I it guess. if it if it see where a nevado. Uh huh. No, I think that if if it will snow, I think, but we can Nevada. confirm at the at yeah. the at the final, right? Okay. When we complete, we can uh, check the the bad right, the bad mm. options. 
Uh, the other one says we 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 we, we ah we built a yeah. snowman. Yes, yes, because when you say wool is hubiera, right? Okay. I think that this is the meaning of wool, but I do not remember to be honest. Let mm -hmm. me confirm. Uh, okay. The second conditionally, it will be right. Uh, so call. It, it will be. It, it wouldn't be. Uh huh. Wouldn't be so call. Yeah. If you close the window. Uh -huh. If you didn't uh, didn't felt didn't feel better. Feel better. Mm -hmm. I would go. Mm -hmm. oh I God. want. Did you? I could. Did you do? What did you do? Yeah. What would you do? Okay. If you if want you the lottery. Want... Please. Okay. The lottery. Okay. This didn't one. ask. Didn't ask. If I. It's passing no, this. No, wait, 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 wait. We wouldn't ask. Uh -huh. If I wasn't necessary. Uh -huh. Where did you go? Uh huh. If you, if you were, be, if you were, if you were you on were, holiday, where? Okay. Yeah. Did you buy? I did you buy tickets. I will buy I, the, the I tickets. Okay. I didn't. I would like. It. You didn't. No, 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 no. I, I was thinking. Okay. If Paula did come with me, let's see again. It will be okay if you close okay. Okay. If you didn't feel better, if I, if I didn't feel better, mm -hmm. I will. Wouldn't go. I think we have reached that one. I didn't didn't go running. Oh, yeah, we... because it's a simple. Mm -hmm. I didn't go. What did you do? Uh -huh. But the question mark, I can see it. <clears throat> yeah. If you won the lottery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Did you? If you, uh -huh. no, did you go? check? Oh, again, <laughs> my god, my god, I'll win. Oh, okay, well, what will you do? Like, because could be. Es hipot hipotético, por eso quizás. The Maybe. first. This is the, the, the good, the good. Of yes. The next. This will study. Uh, you will study chemistry. chemistry. We'll go. I will go to the beach. <laughs> I will go Why? to the beach. I will go to the beach. I have ice cream. Uh, I think to be uh, to be honest, I, I think that this wool is it debería, but I I I I'm not sure. I don't know if the teacher is here. Oh yes, teacher, what is the meaning of wool? Debería, right? No. No. Aria, right? It's ia. 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 Okay. 
with the with the example you see would the verb is go. so what is go ir, ir. Ir. and would iria exactly oh. um. what is build in number two Construiría. exactly there you oh, go. Oh, we will. Oh, will and will plus the verb is is like a comería. For example, will eat. For example. Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah, we have we have some issues here. <laughs> Good. That's that's why we practice. That's why. Yes. We this is the main reason, right? Mm hmm. Okay. No, no. Is is that's right? But O O T G T S G T G T. No, no. Again, yeah, again. No, no. B B O O U mm -hmm. T G mm -hmm. G. No, no, no. H. No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, I hope that helped you a little bit more understand how we use wood. Wood is used for imagination. That is why it is unreal. You are imagining the situation. Not you have $750,000. You only imagine what you do if you have it. That is the idea. Okay. In this moment, we're going to learn a little bit more before we practice speaking, a little bit more about this. Eduardo, can you please read the objective that we're going to have? Sure. By the end of this class, participants will learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sen uh, sentences with the clauses, with if clauses. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the video and learn a little bit more and see some examples with if. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. This one is formed with IF, plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. 
Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay, so what is the most important part? I found 750. The most important is for us to be clear on how and why we use it. We always use it with the verb in past with if, if I found. And we always use in the second part a model like would, could, might, okay? And we use the verb in present. So if I ate, found, drank, whatever verb you want, in the past. And the second part is always with modal and the verb in present. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, we're going to practice. Remember, that's why we have the links. The links were for the grammar. In this moment, we're going to practice, but we're going to practice trying to like they say, speaking. We have many questions. Please check the chat and make sure that you have the links for the speaking questions. Yes, I have. Yes, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So, what are we going to do? In this moment, we're gonna take a look at those and with our partners, we're going to make sure that we answer them. So you don't have to be in order. It can be any question that you like, okay? So take a look. You can choose one or several and with your partners, we're going to discuss them. Anna, you okay? Would you leave your name and address if you hit another car? <laughs> to be honest, I will go to my home, bro. <laughs> Nobody see nothing happening. <laughs> and you, Mario? What about you, Mario? In my case? It, maybe you 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 can believe me, but I did it because uh, when I, I I crashed my car with another car, so not I I left the the my address in my in my in my name, but I start to to touch door and you, by door. Your WhatsApp. <laughs> no, this is I, I this is my WhatsApp, bro. So, so you you knock at a, at many doors, I mean yes. a, a, a couple of houses asking for I, the car owner. I start to 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 knock door by door, and I start to to ask, hey, the your car is 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 that car? 
no. And I start to knock the other door. So, and finally, someone told me, yeah, it's in my car. I, I crashed my car uh, behind your car. And, but we, we get a good deal with the other person, finally. Oh, you don't have any problem. You did not have any problem with, with this person, right? Yes. So, uh, I think that I maybe because you you was honest, right? Uh, sometimes this situation like Malaysia, Singapore, or Vietnam, I I would like to visit this country for a couple of months. Okay, perfect. And what about you, Eduardo? Where will you go? Yeah, in my case, I would like to visit the uh, first one, Canada, because I watch a, a lot of pictures about that country. It, it has a lot of beautiful places. And also, I would like to visit the Catarata, the, the Cataratas. The I don't Niagara know. How Falls. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Niagara Falls. And also, um, a country that I would like to visit in, in Europe is Greece because um, I would like to visit it, Santorini city. It's a wonderful uh, city in the world. I would like to be there maybe one day. Okay, interesting. Let's yeah. try another question. Who wants to ask or select one? Okay. Another guys. Es popular. Andalusius and yeah. and makes me remember the 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 happy happy time with family. So that that, that that's why I choose that kind. Okay. What can be you will be? Um. Oh, Herson. Herson, welcome. What can be? <laughs> if it were a candy, imagine one. What candy? Would you be? We cannot hear you, Herson. Can you speak aloud a little bit? Uh, me? No, Herson. We can hear you, Herson. Can you speak more harder? Because it's hard to see, hear you. Right now. Hola, Gerson. Are you there? Gerson. Gerson, can you, can you hear us? Hello, Hi. lo escucho. Ah, okay, perfect. So, if you were a candy, what candy will you be? Uh, I'm not a candy. Sorry? I not a candy. Uh... Uh... Um, in my case? Uh... Well, yes, let, bro. Let, let's try another, another question. Let me okay. See. Was, this question was interesting, bro. <laughs> or, or, or if you want, you can select one. Let me check. I'm looking. Okay, but, but I select like, the first one. Let me check. Uh, if you could choose to live on a different planet, which one would you choose? Well, in my case, I would like to live in the most... Um, alejado. How, how can I say Alejandro? Uh, far away. Far away. Uh -huh. How the far, far, <laughs> too far. Okay, I, I would like to live in the far away one of the sun. Remember Shrek, bro. Far, far away. <laughs> <You don't like? laughs> I know that Mario remember this this word for this for this movie. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Far, far away, kingdom. Far, far away. I'm sorry. What about you? Which planet would you, would you like to live? Um, you, Mario. I don't know if I if I if I need to. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, I see we have hello. most people are back. Great. I, I hope the practice helped you a little bit. Just a couple of tips. Always when you use if, you are not going to say was. No, he was. No, she was. No, I was. Always is going to be were. If he were. If I were. If you were. If always is going to be were because it's imagination. This is the correct grammar. But many people use was when speaking, but the correct grammar is were. If I were a millionaire, I would buy a Ferrari, okay? But don't worry. Next week, we are going to complete com unit five, and we're going to do the final exam. Remember, for Monday, you must complete one, two, three, and four. Today, we completed unit four, and we only have four more classes. Next week is the last week, four classes to complete the platform. Okay? Okay. okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, after the next week, we need to request on our jobs to su subscribe us to the next course or I automatically. This, I think this week you have to request. You but the, but let, let's, go, go ahead, Solim. But uh, yeah, the, the person, the people who are in charge of the inscriptions, he doesn't send the mail email. so i waiting for i don't know what happened no one received the email no uh, right now i i don't receive the email i don't know the the other one nobody i received the email yes you yes yes, yes. me too i mm -hmm. receive it yes check with the company because i understand that this week already they begin to they send the email in my particular case, no teacher, but if you can ask, please, it's good to help. Yes, yes, yes. I will ask. That way we can register quickly. Thank you. I have another question. Sorry, yes. teacher. Uh, the, the next week, we're going to practice again this topic or we will change? No, no. Next week, we continue with the topic Unreal Conditional on Monday. Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. I see you next week. Only four classes. Complete units one through four. Okay? Yeah, thank, thank you, teacher. You. Thank you. Good Have you a, guys. a nice night. Bye-bye. Wow. You too. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy Father's Bye. Day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.